welcome back to yet another glorious video of Wing Clip Gaming. Today, we'll be discussing why the CRT is one of the most reliable and featureful displays out there in the market. And now, you will see. This is the Multiscan G520 Sony Trinotron, and this is currently running 2K, as you can see here. Now, compared to something, say, an LCD screen or an LED screen. These things can scale up to abominable amounts, like look at this. You can manually go into the NVIDIA control panel and then through here you can change the resolution to pretty much anything you like. Just just that it is below the maximum kilohertz thing of like uh, I think 40 kilohertz, yeah. So yeah, why is this so good? Because why? This is like a 21 inch 4.3 monitor. Massive, absolutely massive. Like this thing to here. I think that's like. Actually, it might be a bit bigger. I'm not really sure, but yeah, this is a really big screen for a CRT. But this thing does weigh quite a ton, so if you're trying to lift it on one hand, you can't do anything with it. But, as you can see here, I'm currently running this on 2K resolution, if I can focus that, yeah. And it's running at 75 hertz, which is quite unprecedented, as one would think. But it is running it really well. I mean, it displays it, but the problem is, I probably can't really pay, play too many games on it, even though I do have a uh, SLI set up here, running two 680s. And, well, yeah, let's get straight into some games, maybe. Well, uh, first of all, I can show you that I'm currently on this 2K resolution, but if I want to go a bit lower or to a 4.3 resolution, I can simply just scroll down a bit and select something like 1920 by 1080 which is in one of my custom resolutions here, and this thing can go on 85Hz. But the main selling point of this monitor, the main selling point of this monitor is, well, if you go into here, if you go into, like, say, eBay or something, you'll see that if you search Sony Trinitron G520. Yep. If you search that, or if you just search the Sony Trinitron, honestly, these things are hella cheap. Like I'm not even joking. You can get these underneath a hundred dollars. Hey, look at that. That's a massive TV. You don't want that. You want the actual monitor. So these monitors, though, they are a bit rare. But once you find something like this. Yeah, that's a bit overpriced. Uh, basically, where I found this was, I went on something like a Gumtree or something, yeah? Get get on Gumtree, Craigslist, any of those. And, well, eBay sometimes has one or two, but it's really, really overpriced now, because they're getting quite rare. But as you can see, there is a single TV here, even, for $50 only, and this will just pick up there. But I have a collection of around 10 CRTs at home, uh, varying from 4.3 uh, trash resolution to um, all the way up to this HD 2K. But the only issue with this is you have to actually squish the screen, like physically look at that, squish it down using the monitor controls. But this also means that you can fit pretty much any resolution you want in here. So you can see, I've had to do some major adjustments and uh, yeah, just pretty much squeeze this into a box that actually looks right and not stretched, but any games on this though play perfectly fine. So, so I'll show you in Squad. And it looks really, really, really high def. You can read each individual letter here if I can just focus this thing. Camera's not focusing too well, but I assure you, it is extremely clear. And if you can get a 2K monitor at a hundred dollars, 
Like, I got this for 70 bucks. Like, come on, mate. This is really good. You can play any resolution and pretty much any refresh rate. And as long as your graphics card isn't a piece of crap, you can run pretty much anything. I mean, compared to this, this only has one scalable resolution type, which is like either 4.3 or up to 1080. You can't really have much larger resolutions than this because it physically can't fit in the pixels without losing quality. This is designed to go up to 2048 times 1440, I believe. It's a really high res monitor, so yeah, and get something like this. It's the best 2K monitor out there, so really. You shouldn't be wasting money like four or five hundred dollars to buy something really, really expensive when the electricity bill for this is like, what, a few bucks a year. It's, it's not worth buying such an expensive thing. Especially if you're on a budget as well, so yeah. Just look into that, look into that. There's any LCD, any LCD here, this stuff is hell expensive. 21 inch LCD, you're getting less pixels, right? Less pixels in a story. And also, your refresh rate in max can only go up to like, say, 75 or 85. Well, now with G-Sync, FreeSync, and all those um, random 144Hz monitors, you sure you can go up uh, to a bit of a higher refresh rate, but nowhere near as good as the Sony Trinitron does. Like, seriously, this thing's running two GT 750s, but you can only get it to 60 to 75 FPS. Even when you get it to 75, the screen just starts spazzing out and has like this artifact over here somewhere. But yeah, like, you see over here, this thing's only running 1080p. But when I connect this to the Sony Trinitron and say that can run like way high res. I can show it to you now, but it does require me to unplug this and then just uh, shove it in there. So basically, that is pretty much all you need. I mean, if you just go in here and you can just play Squad, play freaking Battlefield 1, Minecraft if you're really into that kind of thing. But yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and join a server. The thing with these things is that uh, they're kind of reflective, but uh, you know, you can see the window back there, but if you just close up the blinds a bit, uh, it helps. But also, it's best to play at night because you can see everything really clearly. Like if you look at that, there's a bit of wire here because I'm moving the camera back and forth a bit, so and you can see like strange... Um, lines going up and down here, but in reality you can't see any of that, it just looks straight smooth, no flickering at all, 85 hertz, this thing is insane, like, I play at uh, 1080p usually because I can't really make out so much detail, but 2k on this thing, like, if you can get a uh, 24 inch Sony Trinitron or something like that along the lines, that would be absolutely insane. Now oh, what happened, did I get kicked? Yeah, I think I got kicked. <laughs> oh, oh well, no, I didn't. What do you mean? So yeah, it looks nice. Like, you can see really into the details here. It's just the camera is really bad. I mean, it's not a camera, it's a freaking cell phone. Yeah, as you can see here, the details are quite, quite in there. When you look out here, it's a uh, really very balanced in color as well because the blacks they go really really deep they go to like legit pure black not like the um, pixels because they have a backlight so if this has say some sort of black at the back here it's not really black it's just got backlight as well so this has got true blacks it's beautiful absolutely beautiful i've been using this for like a year and a half now and it looks absolutely amazing and really, really hasn't degraded. Though I have gotten a few monitors from church, uh, they're a bit blurry, so. I've also picked up a few more, which I've uh, gone ahead, opened up the back case here, which is very solidly built. I think it's a uh, PBT or something, because it doesn't look like ABS. ABS would have yellowed long ago. But the other cheaper monitors, they have ABS. Like, ABS is. Well, not this, this thing is PBT, is IBM keyboard. But, uh, 
ABS. ABS is sort of like the stuff they use for the old mice. Like the stuff in yellow is really fast. Like I see like freaking nearly amber mice sometimes that are... Yeah. This thing is really not yellowed at all. It matches my color scheme as well. <laughs> it's not just into that vintage trash, but yeah. So. You can see that the resolution's in there. I mean, it flickers on camera, but really, if you're not capturing video on this, you can film this like using shadow play and stuff, and it looks amazing. So you can just bring it into an LCD, and it still looks just as good as you would look on an LCD screen. But since my monitor is a bit small, like trying to get a larger resolution, it doesn't hurt. I mean, uh, oh, I'm walking the wrong way, XD. But yeah. Thanks for watching this video, and uh, I'll go ahead and put some gameplay on this, even though I know it won't really show much about this display, but... Remember, try to get a Sony Trinitron. Uh, they got, like, really cool buttons down here as well. Input selection. It's got VGA, which is a bit old, but what you can also do is split that VGA, VGA into a B and C connection, so it should improve color quality and theoretically allow you to go up to higher resolutions as well. But this thing is limited to a very high resolution though, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Anyway, this is Inkot Gaming, and this is me playing Squad at a pretty high frame rate, even though this is like freaking what? 2K or something. I'll set it to 2K and play this, because this is currently 1080p, I think. Oh no, no, it is borderless. Borderless is pretty much 2K right now. It's really, really nice. You can physically see all the details there as well. Yeah, this is Winklet Gaming, aka Compu Guy. See you guys next year. Drop a like or I will drop. Yeah, I will drop. Drop dead.